So you want to learn how to fill in Infinite Painter, to fill an object with colour. What you're going to need to do is if you draw in a simple shape, first of all, like a circle-ish like this, if I then go ahead and we go up to our tools, you've got the option here of fill, that is your paint bucket tool. Traditionally, when you tap on that and then you tap on anything, it's going to fill in the gap. However, notice if we zoom right in, you can see this little fuzzy line here. Now there's a couple of different ways that you can get rid of that. If I undo that, I can tap. And if I do go ahead and tap and drag next time, I can drag to the left and I can drag to the right. And every time I drag to the right, it's filling in the shape a little bit more. And you can see now I've got rid of that little line there. So that's how you would do it with the paint bucket tool. Another option you can have is if you go to your brushes, as long as this fits the design that you're making, if you go ahead and you go to the option of fills here, if you use something like the solid fill here, you can go ahead and draw in the shape that you want. So I can draw in a circle and it's going to fill it in for me automatically. Now that may not apply to your design. If you're drawing in some mountains, maybe it will work as long as you go all the way to the edge and then come all the way around the bottom here. I can then fill in some mountains. But with different brushes, there will be different styles. If you were to use something like a paintbrush and the dry ink, for example, and you draw in a circle, it's going to have tiny little gaps. And if you go ahead and then try to use the fill tool and then drag in that space, you're going to first of all potentially get a slightly different color compared to the brush that you're using because the brush here has a slightly more diluted look to it. When I go to drag and fill in here, you notice how if I try to fill it in to fill up all these white gaps as well, it eventually just pours out. And it's just like if you were to just fill up a cup of coffee too much, you just tip over the edge. And that is exactly what's happening there. So on some occasions, it's actually best to just simply not use the fill tool, maybe increase your brush up to a certain size and just go ahead and just fill in the shape a little bit manually. Take your time to just fill in the shape how you need it. But again, it's totally dependent on what it is you're drawing in Infinite Painter. Another style that you could use is to use the selection tool. If you go up to your options here and you go to edit and you go to the lasso tool, for example, you could go ahead and draw in whatever shape it is that you want to draw in. So such as something like this. And now you've made this selection which means if you then go up to your create options and you go to fill and you tap in that space, it can only fill in the space that you've got selected. All this area up here and below is not available to the fill tool. It's only going to fill in what selections you have. And that's quite useful if you use the selection tool in a certain way. For example, I could draw in a little shape down here that I want to fill in. I may want to draw in a shape here and I may want to draw in a shape up here, followed by another one over here. So we've got four shapes in total. I can then go to my fills tool. I can tap in one shape. I could maybe even change my color, change it to blue, tap in another shape, change the fill tool, change it to another color, and then so on using the selection tool. So that's another way that you could fill in if that applies to the design that you're creating. Again, this is very much dependent on what it is you're creating and in what different style. So hopefully that answered your question on how to fill using Infinite Painter. I have a bunch of tutorials on my channel and also have a bunch of helpful how-to videos. Two of them you can see on the screen now. So make sure to check out the channel for more Infinite Painter content. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.